everybody. Today we are going to learn about Moses in the Bible from Exodus chapter 1 to 2. These are the people in the Bible. King Pharaoh, the princess, Miriam, the sister, Joseph the mommy, England, there is baby Moses. Now I'm going to make some craft before I tell the story. I'm going to make a sky. to make the palace, the Nile River, and the green reeds. We are going to make a palace where the princess lives. Four hundred years has passed since Joseph's family came to Egypt. This is a long time. Many children were born, grew up, and had children of their own. They call them children of Israel. After Joseph died, and King Pharaoh ruled over Egypt. They did remember how Joseph helped them. King Thero had a very bad idea. He said, There are too many Israelites. We should make them a slaves. So they did. But the Israels who grew bigger and bigger. So King Thero has a worse idea. We should hurt all the baby boys of Israel. They should be killed. Many mothers were sad because they were hurt their babies. One mother named Josephette. She gave birth to a son. But in three months, she was trying to hide the baby. She loved him very much, but she couldn't hide him forever. So she took him to the river and put him in a basket and hid the baby behind the tall reeds, the green grass. The, the baby had an older sister named Miriam. Josephette told Miriam, wait here and watch the basket. So Miriam waited. King Thero had a daughter, the princess, 
went to the Nile River to take a bath. When she went to the river, she saw a basket. When she looked at a basket, she said, "Oh, it's a baby." When she looked at the baby, she knew it was, was she knew it was one of the Israelites trying to hide the baby. So she loved the baby. At that time, Miriam, the sister, went out to ask the princess, "Do you want me to find the mother for this baby?" The princess says, "Yes, find the mom before this baby." So Miriam went to find her own mother, and the mother came. The princess said, "Take this baby, take care of the baby, and I'll pay you." She named the baby Moses. That means she picked him up from the water. So she took baby Moses home, and when he got bigger, he went to the palace, and the princess adopted him.